Now, one of the things that you need in business to be able to close more sales is follow-up. And what's better than just follow-up? Personalized follow-up. Now, if you've used any other system like Loom or BombBomb and there's other ones out there, you know that creating videos and sending to clients that are personalized are going to be more impactful than any other follow-up. And for the last week, I have been using Hippo video, and that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to walk through what I absolutely love about Hippo video. Now, I'm not being paid or incentivized by the company to do this in any way. This is simply my love for this, uh, this application. I mean, I've been using Loom for many, many years uh, since it's come out, and I've actually just fully switched our entire company over to this. So let's take a look at Hippo video, and you can find them at hippovideo.io. Um, but also in the comments below the video, you will see, or in the description below the video, you'll see a link to getting a lifetime deal with Hippo Video through AppSumo. So stay tuned, watch the video, and then check that out. So let's go ahead and hop into the application. So just like all other ones, you can record yourself. You can record a screen just like you're seeing here. This is actually recorded using my Hippo Video account. But where the magic really lies is in what the added features that they have packed into this application has. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring up one of my existing videos so I can show you all those different additional features. So let's go in here. Let's pull up a client testimonial and we'll pull up this one here. Once you record the video, you'll be able to get to this screen and this is where you get to do a lot of different things. So you can create different folders to categorize your videos. So we have client testimonials, we have internal videos, we have sales videos and all those different categories to put them in so that your, your system and your library starts to be organized. Your title of video, you can add tags or descriptions. Comments, if there are comments left on the video, you can put them in there. You can also add comments with your team and then they can see those on those videos. Reports are gonna show you how many times it's been viewed, the unique viewers, the watch rate and roughly where they're from. And now you can start to customize the video. So now you're no longer stuck with just the standard thumbnail that has been chosen by the system. You can either choose one by selecting the frame of the video or designing your own um, at a design service of yourself, whether it's Canva, Photoshop, or whatever. And you can upload that into the video. And that would come in handy if you were going to be embedding these videos uh, anywhere. But also when you share the link, if you're using anything like Gmail or any web-based web -based email system, it'll actually populate a thumbnail in the email, which is kind of cool. This feature here I've not seen on other systems is adding a title or end screen. So you can go in here and you can say either no theme and just have it white, or you can add one of these like little animated video themes. There's only a couple in here. I mean, I think that would be one thing I would suggest is they give the ability to have more or being able to upload your own background image would be a really cool feature in here. But to be able to, to add the text in and move it around anywhere, you know, text, type it in there. Um, you also have the ability to change the fonts, the colors, uh, all that kind of stuff, and as many as you want in there. And then also the length in which it shows before your video actually plays. So those are your titles and end screens. Now your marketing tools. Now each of these, when I click on them, will actually flip over to another uh, tab. So I'm not gonna go into that, but I'll explain each of these uh, you know, in a little bit of detail. So embedding your custom CRM form. So if you're using anything like Keep or ActiveCampaign or HubSpot, where you can generate an HTML form to opt in, you can actually use this and pick in the video where you want that form to come up on the screen. So if you're doing a video and you're mentioning about a lead magnet or opting in for something, you can actually have that form show up on the video at that moment, which is really pretty cool. Now your annotations are where you can actually, you know, call out certain things on the screen. You can do a custom poll so you can start to collect data that way. Lead generation forms are the Hippo video lead generation forms, which you can actually collect that information. It's going to come through to you by email after. You can promote a playlist at a certain time, have a call to action, or have an in-video meeting link. So if you're saying, hey, you know, if you'd like to book a consult with us, you can go ahead and, and do that right now, um, but stick around and we're going to also give you the link at the end or whatever that, that looks like for you in your video. But you can actually have those in the videos. It gives you a lot of functionality to, to do that. Now, when it comes to publishing the videos, you've got Facebook, Twitter, Google Classroom, and Zendesk, or Slack. If you've got an internal team and you're using Slack a lot and you're making internal videos to review certain things, you can integrate that right away and fire it off to Slack without having to copy and paste stuff and move it over. When it comes to exporting, you can export to Facebook, YouTube, Google Drive, and Shopify. 
your privacy. You've got only you in your organization, anyone with a link, and you can set passwords or expiries so the video can expire after a certain amount of time goes by. And embedding, you can do inlines, pop-up embeds, email embeds, or HubSpot embeds here. And then your video settings, you can generate subtitles or you can upload your own if you're using a service like Rev to take your videos and uh, get your subtitles generated for that. Now, let's go ahead and look on the left side here and let's explain a couple of things. One of the, the, the real cool features I like this is their ability to have different sales pages. So within sales pages, we have just one built out so far. It's just our standard one because we're testing it out. Um, but our Blue Cow Marketing one, and this page, I'll show you here, when the video gets sent out to, to somebody, this is the sales page that we've generated, right? Very basic. It's just all about the video. But one thing you'll see a little different on the bottom is you get the ability to reply here. You got a video or ability to schedule a consult, uh, place a call, or visit the website. So when they reply, they would be able to actually go here, allow permission for their camera, and record a video reply back to you. How cool is that? That's pretty neat, eh? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that down. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say you're doing internal client videos and you may just have this kind of design or you're going to do some prospecting and you want to do customized videos for people and send it out to them, but you wanted to give them a little more video content. So that's where you can go ahead and you can create other templates. And they've got some pre-made ones in here, I think, which is a really good stepping stone and starting place for that. And you can go in here and just preview them. But you can go in and you can put in your information here. That's going to be the main video, the buttons below. And then you can put some you know, testimonial videos here or other work you've done down below so they can actually check those out as well. So this here is a good thumbs up, in my opinion, uh, with what they're doing. Now, with the prospect prospecting video emails and you're sending them out, now, to show up in the prospecting video emails, you actually have to use the system to send it through the through here. So um, you put in the email and you actually let the system send out the email so it can track. And we've done it here with one client uh, and they've viewed the video. So you can see that as well. And there's some other reports that you can go into it and take a look at. Um, let's just click on it here and see what shows up. So the amount that they've watched, the amount of clicks, if there were clicks and those actions uh, within it, and they open it two times. So there's some good details in the reporting here, basically, you know, of what you need. Let's talk about this one right here. I think this one here is a game changer. Teleprompters. Now think about this. You're doing a lot of prospecting. You're doing a lot of these one-to-one -one videos because you're trying to close some deals or set some appointments. But you, you don't want to just keep coming off the cuff with the message all the time. You want to really have kind of like a, a sales presentation that you want to talk about in that video. You know, especially if you're not doing screen sharing and it's just you on video. So you can go ahead and add in different scripts. So you can just go in, you know, to edit it here and you can put in the, the script. And you can merge in custom fields, you know, that you may have um, you know, on the record for that person uh, in the system. Or you can just put plain text in there and just put, hey, first name, and you know when to say it. Um, you could go ahead and do that. But how do you use these? And that's where the integration with, with Google comes in um, really well. So I'm going to flip over to my email and show you this here. Whenever I'm creating a new email, I got these new buttons on the bottom. So I've got send one on one video or send a video campaign. If I'm doing the one-to-one -one video, I can bring this up and I can either, you know, record my screen or just record the video like you see here, but I can enable the teleprompter and I can pick that script. So now what I can do is I could say, okay, the speed or the line spacing here. So it'll actually scroll as I'm reading. So I'm reading over top here and I can do, you know, everything that I want, or I can just, you know, stop the video. Let's just see if it's going to stop here. Now that I started it, it probably won't stop, but, um, it allows you to actually have that teleprompter system in there um, and you, you'll get sense for how fast you read um, and have that in there. And it will really make a better production for you well, when you're doing this. So the other option, you can choose from a library or you can go down and do the send video campaign. So let's say you did a video for a client, you sent it out and they said, hey, you know what? Um, why don't you send it off to, to Joe as well, right? So you go in, you put in Joe's email, you click send video campaign, go to your library, pull it up and say, okay, well, it's going to be in my you know client tutorial video folder. And I pick the video and boom, puts it in the email. So let's just go here. I'll choose that one. I'm going to click continue. And then it comes up here and I could do other things. I could actually choose the sales page at that point, the thumbnail, 
change the title. Um, so if it was like, you know, a new service demo, uh, you know, if it was Jeff or Sally and you're now sending it to John, you could go in here and put John's name in there and it'll actually change the title of the video uh, for him to watch it. Or you can edit the video. So there's a lot of functionality you can go ahead and, and do with this. You click continue and you could have other email templates that you can build out in here. Um, put in the subject line and hit continue and away you go. I'm not going to actually send that out because I have no one to send that to. So all in all, um, that's the interface with this. It does have a browser plugin for Chrome, which is what I'm using here. I'm not going to click on it because it's going to stop the video. Um, but it also has a downloadable program for the computer. So on a Mac and a PC, you got your program and it'll show up in the top bar here. I like to use the browser plugin. That's just my preference. Um, on my other computer, I actually have it on the, on here because I'm doing other things that I that I want to not have as many browser plugins um, running. So um, that's really what what um, I use here. Both of them work exactly the same, all the same same functions, as well as you saw the one that was with um, Google. So, like I mentioned off the beginning, you can go to their website and you can buy their service, but they do have a AppSumo lifetime deal, and the link for that is in the description of the video below and. Please, you know, click on that. I am an affiliate with AppSumo. So, you know, it just shows your appreciation for me taking the time to do this, this demo for you and uh, kind of help you out. So thank you very much for watching this. And if you got any questions about this, put it in the comments. I will answer them and get back to you. And if you have any questions about things that you didn't see, uh, and we do need to do a video on that, then we will do another video. So um, enjoy and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day.